Scientists say something strange keeps getting in between the telescope and the star. They can't figure out what it is. The size of buildings like the Empire State Building, Trump Tower, Burj Khalifa, and the pyramids of Egypt boggle the human mind. But certain structures in the universe are easily bigger than these impossibly large buildings. These structures dwarf entire galaxies, breaking our scientific models of how the universe was formed. And scientists have just discovered one of them at the very edge of the universe. What are these massive, mysterious structures? How did they grow so big? And how does their discovery affect life on Earth? Join us in this video as we look into the mysterious structure found near the edge of the universe. Our universe consists of giant superstructures across different locations. These structures are easily the largest and most massive structures in the universe, consisting of hundreds to thousands of galaxies bound together by gravity. Their discoveries have been mostly accidental, as they are typically located billions of light years away from our planet. However, they have become extremely important in forming our understanding of the universe and how it evolved into what it is today. You could think of these structures as natural laboratories for studying the interactions and relationships between different galaxies and the distribution of dark matter, and to give insight into the mechanism that led to the formation and evolution of galaxies. Essentially, they help us understand what happened in the past, from when the Big Bang happened, what's happening now, and the future of the universe, all in relation to the many daily cosmic occurrences. These massive clusters of galaxies are also essential for helping us understand dark matter. Dark matter is mostly defined as an invisible and mysterious substance that makes up the majority of the universe's mass. By studying the gravitational lensing effects caused by these massive clusters, astronomers will be able to map the distribution of dark matter and test theories about its properties and interactions with visible matter. Moving on to the discovery of these huge clusters. A fundamental cosmological principle states that at a large enough scale, the universe is uniform and isotropic. That means that the universe is the same everywhere, no matter which direction you are looking at. As such, you should not be seeing a single massive structure in any direction you look. So imagine the shock when scientists and astronomers discovered two such structures near each other. One of them was discovered very early in 2024 and has been named the Big Ring, joining a long list of giant galaxy superstructures that have challenged scientists' understanding of the universe. A couple of years before that, in 2021, researchers led by Alexia Lopez found another giant galaxy cluster and called it the Giant Arc. This cluster is a crescent of galaxies spanning 3.3 billion light years and located 9.2 billion light years away from Earth. The same team reported the discovery of the Big Ring, which has a diameter of 1.3 billion light years and is also 9.2 billion light years away. These two structures are reportedly only 12 degrees apart in the sky. But Alexia Lopez, a graduate researcher from the University of Central Lancashire believes it is theoretically impossible for these two to exist. She stated, We could expect maybe one exceedingly large structure in all our observable universe. Yet, the Big Ring and the Giant Arc are two huge structures and are even cosmological neighbours, which is extraordinarily fascinating. She also said in another statement, Neither of these two ultra-large structures is easy to explain in our current understanding of the universe, and their ultra-large sizes, distinctive shapes, and cosmological proximity must surely be telling us something important, but what exactly? Till now, no one can explain their existence. We're still on the cosmological principle, which is a fundamental assumption about the universe. This principle posits that at a certain level, the universe should be similar, with no particular notable, large irregularities. This means that galaxies should be evenly distributed. Despite the presence of galaxy clusters, these structures tend to average out, which means they cannot grow beyond a certain theoretical limit. 
scientists calculate the limit to be about 1.2 billion light years. However, the giant arc is almost three times bigger than the limit, and the big ring's circumference is comparable to the giant arc's length. Further observations are ongoing to confirm the claims about the big ring and how it came to be. Also, it is expected that these observations would provide insights into what the presence of these structures means for our understanding of the universe. Alexia Lopez discovered the giant arc in 2021 when she was analyzing the light coming from distant quasars. Lopez was studying for her master's degree at the University of Central Lancashire in the UK when her supervisor suggested using a new method to analyze large-scale structures in the universe. She used quasars, which are distant galaxies that emit an extraordinary amount of light, to look for signs of ionized magnesium, a sure sign of gas clouds surrounding a galaxy. When light passes through this ionized magnesium, certain frequencies are absorbed, leaving unique light signatures that astronomers can detect. Through this method, she was able to detect the giant, which is an almost symmetrical arc of galaxies 9.3 billion light years away in the constellation of Botas, the herdsman. Spanning a massive 3.3 billion light years across, the structure is a whopping 1 15th of the radius of the observable universe. This means that if we could see it from Earth, it would be the size of 35 full moons displayed across the sky. According to Lopez, there's a probability of just 0.0003% that such a large structure could have arisen by chance. She suggests that it may have formed due to something in the natural physics of the universe that we currently don't account for. Apart from the fact that Lopez's suggestion contradicts our current understanding of the known universe, it also poses another problem. According to the standard model, structures like the giant arc simply wouldn't have had time to form, as it would take billions of years to create a structure of this size. Suba Sarkar, a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Oxford, said, The current idea for how structures formed in the universe is through a process known as gravitational instability. To understand this, we have to go back in time. About a million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was expanding, tiny fluctuations in density led to bits of matter clumping together. Over billions of years, the pull of gravity eventually led these clumps to form stars and galaxies. However, there is a size limit to this process. This means that anything larger than about 1.2 billion light years across simply would not have had sufficient time to form. As Professor Sarkar explained, to form structures, you need particles to congregate close to each other so gravitational collapse can occur. Those particles would have to move in from outside the structure to get there. So, if your structure is 500 million light years across, the light would take 500 million years to move from one end to the other. However, the particles we are talking about are moving much more slowly than light so it would take billions of years to create a structure of this size and the universe has only been around for about 14 billion years. However, the giant arc that Lopez and her team discovered isn't the only large-scale structure that astronomers have found. There is the Great Wall, also called the CFA-2 Great Wall. Margaret Geller and John Hukra discovered it in 1989 as part of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics Redshift Survey. It is a vast, filamentary supercluster of galaxies located approximately 1.37 billion light-years away from Earth in the constellation Perseus. The Great Wall is approximately 500 million light-years long. 300 million light years wide and 15 million light years thick. It is also characterized by intensely dense concentrations of galaxies and interconnected filaments forming a cosmic web like structure. Even bigger is the Sloan Great Wall, a cosmic structure nearly 1.5 billion light years in length. Formed by a giant wall of galaxies, the structure was discovered in 2003 by J. Richard Gott III and Mario Jurek and their colleagues at Princeton University. 
This discovery was part of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, SDSS, a comprehensive astronomical survey that mapped the distribution of galaxies in the universe. The SDSS is a pioneering project that uses a specialised telescope to observe and catalogue millions of galaxies, with the aim of providing astronomers with unprecedented insights into the structure and composition of the cosmos. Then, in 2014, scientists discovered the Laniakea supercluster, a collection of galaxies in which our Milky Way resides. Spanning an incredible 520 million light-years across, it is estimated to contain about 100,000 galaxies. However, according to scientists, this number could be higher, as we can only identify galaxies by the light we can detect. The Laniakea supercluster has a mass of about 100 million billion suns, making it one of the largest known structures in the observable universe. The supercluster was discovered in 2014 by astronomers using a new mapping technique that analysed the motion of galaxies. The name was chosen through a public contest, and it comes from a Hawaiian word meaning immeasurable heaven or open skies. Unlike many others, the Laniakea supercluster is not a uniform blob of galaxies, but rather a collection of smaller clusters and groups bound together by gravity. The supercluster is also not perfectly spherical, but rather elongated, with the Milky Way located near one of its ends. Our Milky Way resides within the Virgo supercluster, which forms part of the larger Laniakea structure. Interestingly, the Laniakea supercluster itself is being pulled towards a much larger neighbouring supercluster known as the Shapley supercluster. The discovery of the Laniakea supercluster has further challenged our understanding of dark matter, as its gravity seems to be much stronger than what we can explain by observable, visible matter. Then, in 2016, the Boss Great Wall, a complex of galaxies over 1 billion light years across, was uncovered. This means it can contain over a thousand Milky Way galaxies. The Boss Great Wall is made up of 830 separate galaxies that gravity has pulled into four superclusters. According to scientists, the galaxies are connected by long filaments of hot gas. Here are a few things to note about this massive superstructure. One, Boss is located roughly 4.5 to 6.5 billion light years away from Earth. Two, it contains four superclusters, with hundreds of galaxies that come in various shapes and sizes, including spiral, elliptical and irregular. Three, it was discovered in 2016 using data from the Baryon Oscillation Spectroscopic Survey, BOSS, of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, SDSS. However, the current record holder for the biggest of these structures is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Discovered in 2013, it spans 10 billion light years, which is more than one tenth the size of the visible universe. This Great Wall is named after the constellations Hercules and Corona Borealis, as we can see it between these two constellations from Earth. However, unlike other massive structures, the exact nature and origin of the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall remains greatly debated and is still the subject of ongoing research among astronomers. Some theories suggest that its formation may be influenced by gravitational interactions and the clustering of matter in the early universe, driven by the gravitational pull of dark matter. Now, back to the giant arc. According to John Hackler, Professor of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, when they calculated its dimensions, they realised that it would be one of the biggest things in the universe. They were immediately concerned. Hakala and Lopez then performed a range of statistical tests to try to prove that the results couldn't be down to chance. For the giant arc, the results have a confidence level of 99.9997%. In scientific research, the gold standard for statistical significance is known as Five Sigma, which equates to a probability of about 1 in 3.5 million that the results are down to chance. The giant arc reached a significance of 4.5 sigma, 
which means there is still the possibility that the structure is a chance arrangement of stars. While the human eye is very good at seeing patterns, like seeing initials in the clouds and assuming it is a real structure even though it is not, Sarkar believes this is not the case here. He believes the Great Arc really is a giant chain of superclusters. So, what's the significance of these discoveries? Well, if more structures like the Giant Arc and Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are proven to exist, astronomers will be forced to rewrite, or at least revise, the standard model of cosmology. But it will not be the first time that the model will have to be adapted. In 1933, Caltech scientist Fritz Zwicky measured the mass of a cluster of galaxies and found the number to be smaller than he expected. The mass was so small, in fact, that the galaxies should have flown apart and escaped the gravitational pull of the cluster. Zwicky concluded that something else must be holding the clusters of galaxies together. This something is dark matter, a mysterious substance thought to make up 27% of the universe. Then, in 1998, the model was further adapted to include dark energy, after two independent teams of astronomers measured the expansion of the universe and found that it was speeding up. Whether or not the model is revised, scientists are very certain that they will get the answers to their questions within the next few years. This is due to plans like the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, LSST, a planned 10-year survey of the southern sky, which may provide astronomers with an unprecedented view of the universe. It takes a lot to make a paradigm shift, especially when people have their lives and careers invested in it. But ultimately with science, we have to see who is right, says Professor Sarkar. At this juncture, it is important to note that the discoveries of these massive structures have been made possible with the help of telescopes. The expansion of the universe, initiated by the Big Bang nearly 13.8 billion years ago, continues to propel galaxies away from each other. This expansion occurs at an accelerating rate, rendering parts of the universe beyond our observable horizon. Consequently, the actual size of the entire universe could well be more than what we can currently observe or comprehend. Therefore, Understanding the universe's mysteries and all that goes on in it would involve the use of sophisticated instruments, cutting-edge technology, and the collaborative efforts of scientists worldwide. Also, observatories, space telescopes, and particle accelerators would be needed to aid experts in peering deeper into space and time, offering glimpses into the most remote corners of the cosmos. As such, telescopes have played a pivotal role in forming our understanding of the universe, significantly impacting both astronomy and space exploration. These extremely powerful instruments have enabled scientists to look into the depths of the universe, unveiling its mysteries and expanding human knowledge about celestial bodies, their properties, and the fundamental laws governing the cosmos. Telescopes act as cosmic windows, allowing astronomers to observe celestial objects and phenomena that are millions or even billions of light years away. They capture light, providing detailed images of stars, galaxies, nebulae, planets, moons and other cosmic entities. These observations have helped unlock profound insights into the nature and evolution of the universe. Throughout history, telescopes have been instrumental in making groundbreaking astronomical discoveries. Galileo Galilei's use of a telescope in the 17th century allowed him to observe the moons of Jupiter, discover sunspots, and challenge the prevailing geocentric model. In modern times, powerful telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, capturing stunning images and contributing to discoveries about the age of the universe, distant galaxies and the expansion of space. Telescopes also act as time machines by allowing astronomers to peer back in time. As light from distant objects takes time to reach Earth, telescopes can capture images of galaxies and celestial events as they existed in the distant past.
This ability to observe distant objects helps scientists study the early universe, track cosmic evolution, and understand how galaxies formed and evolved over billions of years. Telescopes have also been instrumental in supporting space exploration missions. Earth-based telescopes assist in studying celestial bodies, mapping planetary surfaces, and identifying potential landing sites for robotic and crewed missions. With increasing technological advancements, we have seen enhanced telescope capabilities. From traditional optical and radio telescopes to infrared telescopes and space-based observatories, each new generation of the instrument offers improved resolution, sensitivity, and the ability to explore different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. All of these have made the detection and observation of these celestial bodies and features possible and easy for astronomers. While the average person might not be concerned with cosmological questions and concerns, these are ultimately the forces that shape our lives and existence. In a roundabout way, they determine the quality of life we will live and how long human civilization will last on Earth. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.